I did the gears, so now I wanted to do Nami Climb Attack. But first, I want you guys to go into the comments and tell me down below what you want me to explain in the future. The Climb Attack made its first appearance in One Piece Manga Chapter 190. Corresponding with anime episode 117, the Japanese name is Tenkobo. Tenkobo or Climatast means Weather Staff, and it is a modified bow staff based off of Nami's original bow staff that she was using in combat up until receiving the Climatast. Also, before we get into the fun stuff, like how can you use this thing to freaking kill people? <laughs> The climb attack was originally red in the manga and changed to blue in One Piece manga chapter 628. Each separate piece of the climb attack is capable of producing a bubble of air. Each bubble had different properties. One of them is called the heat ball produced from the heat pole. The next is called the cool ball, produced from the cool pole. The next is called the thunder pole, produced from the electric pole. Now we need to explain these balls and these poles. The heat ball is as stated before, produced from the heat pole, either when air is blown into it or when it is shaken. The heat bubble or heat ball is a red bubble of heated air that drifts along in the air, and heats up the temperature of the area surrounding it. After the climb attack is upgraded into the perfect climb attack, this attack becomes powerful enough to damage an opponent in its most basic form, Cool Ball! The Cool Ball is produced from the Cool Pole, as stated before, when air is blown into the end of it. The Cool Ball is a blue bubble of cold air that drifts along in the air, as with the Heat Ball. It cools down the temperature of the air surrounding it. After the climb attack is upgraded to the perfect climb attack, this attack, once again, becomes powerful enough to damage an opponent in its most basic form. And the same goes for the Thunderball. Produced from the electric pole with air blown into the end of it, the Thunderball is a yellow bubble of electrified air that drifts along in the air. It electrifies the air of the area surrounding it. After the climb attack gets upgraded to the perfect climb attack, this attack becomes powerful enough to damage an opponent. This is all very similar as each one of the poles and the balls all work in the exact damn same. The climb attack was designed by Usopp, and due to a miscommunication during the creation of a climb attack, the climb attack is not just capable of combat, but it's also capable of being a great, a great little thing for a party trick. My favorite party trick it got to be Sprinkler Tempo. While the peaches are shooting out water during rain tempo, Nami spins around to dampen the air. She basically resembles a garden sprinkler when she does this. Now, I figure we could run down some of the techniques that you can use with the climb attack. Cyclone Tempo. Mirage Tempo, Thunderbolt Tempo, Tornado Tempo, Fog Tempo, and Thunderstorm Tempo, though this is an anime-only technique. As Usopp originally designed the climb attack, he also gave it an upgrade prior to leaving the crew at any lobby. This is where we will get in to what the perfect climb attack can do in battle. The perfect climb attack is capable of all the same abilities as the previous one, Though it had never been shown to use party tricks, it can use the heat ball, the cool ball, the thunder ball, and the thunder ball tempo. It can also use thunder charge, swing arm, cool charge, mirage tempo, mirage tempo, fete morgana, cyclone tempo, rain tempo, cloudy tempo, dark cloud tempo, Thunderland Tempo, and Cyclone Burst, which is an anime-only attack once again. Japanese pronunciation of perfect climb attack is, of course, Kanzenban Tenkobo. Its meaning is complete weather staff. Now let's move on to the sorcery climb attack. This upgrade was actually done by Nami herself during her two-year training period on Weatheria, but it is safe to assume and she was helped by the people of Weatheria. And unlike the previous versions, 
this one did not have any visible dial on it. Attack Y this climb attack had. The Mirage Tempo. The Gust Sword. Black Ball Rain Rod. This attack appeared to be a combination of Thunder Lance Tempo and Thunder Charge Swing Arm. Thunder Trap. Heat Egg. Milky Ball. Weather Egg, which is an attack I actually feel a need to explain. Okay, so, Nani launches an egg which hatches to reveal a particular kind of weather. One of those can be the Thunder Breed Tempo. After launching an egg at her opponent, she commanded to hatch, calling it Lightning Shot, which then releases a large thundercloud. After creating thunder clouds above her opponent, Nami can take control of the lightning using her climb attack, contracting it all into a small blast she can hit her opponent with. Yukigomo. An attack Nami attempted to use against Jora, but failed, and as such we had not seen the effect of the Yukigomo yet in the theory. And last but not least, Rain Tempo. Now let's move on to the fourth and final iteration of the climb attack. After the time skip, Nami once again asked Usopp to upgrade her sorcery climb attack upon reuniting with him on Sabodia Capilago. Both Frankie and Usopp used the knowledge they gained during the two years of training to incorporate all but one gadget of weathery and technology that Nami gave to Usopp in order to, in order to make a lighter, more compatible weapon for Nami. The one gadget that was not incorporated into the climb attack was the magic wand as Usopp was unable to comprehend it. Unlike previous versions, this one did not need to be put together as it had the ability to extend and contract when it is stroked by Nami. This new climb attack is vastly different from the others and has new abilities. One of these is the grow up ability. By incorporating the growth abilities of the pop green plants into the new staff, similar to Usta's Kuro Kabuto, he designed the new climb attack to change size. Whenever Nami squeezes the handle, she can extend the size of the staff, where the new length is determined by the amount of pressure she applies. Make your dirty jokes about the manga panel on screen in the comments now, folks. I am 100% sure this climb attack can do everything else the old climb attack could do. So far, we have only seen it be capable of using Mirage Tempo, Thunder Trap, Thunderbolt Tempo, Weather Egg, and Rain Spark, as Nami only recently got it at the end of the Zoe arc. How will Nami use her upgraded climb attack in the future in future fights against different characters? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed and learned something. And subscribe for more explained videos. I have a video on Sakura's enhanced strength from Naruto coming next week. And I may be doing a video on Diablo Jumbo and Zoro's slashing sword attack in the future. So subscribe if you want to see those. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Check out my Twitter and Facebook. Links to both of those will be in the description box down below. And have the greatest... Day possible.